pagpapadala doon ng dalawang libong Pinoy skilled workers kada taon. Ang Yukon ay teritoryo sa hilagang bahagi ng Canada na mayroon lamang dalawampung libong populasyon sa capital city nito na Whitehorse. Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome back again to my channel. It's another good news guys, Canada opened a new program for permanent residency and this is the easiest way to come to Canada. For more about this program, just log in at www.cic.gc.ca. It's a Government of Canada website and on this page here you can see about the work permit, work permit eligibility, documents you need to up before you apply, how to apply. So, ano nga ba yung program guys? So, the Yukon Community Pilot YCP is a federal territorial permanent resident stream with a work permit component. The pilot was opened by the government of Yukon in January 2020. The goal of this pilot is to attract and retain immigrants in Yukon communities by testing innovative approach to a permanent immigration. So, about the working permit guys. The work permit lets you work up to three different employers in one of the participating Yukon communities. This is the requirements, guys. You're allowed to work two to three part-time job, but you need uh, it's supposed to be in in the part six participating community. So, ano nga ba yung six participating communities? Whitehorse, Watson Lake, Dawson City, Haines Junction. Carmax and Car Cross. Yan, you're allowed to work in a different employer, but it's supposed to be in these six communities. Either on these six communities, you're allowed to work. And then, does need a labor market impact assessment. This is the good news. No LMIA, so this is very hard for the employer to get LMIA. And this program is the easiest way because they did it or they elevate the LMIA requirements. So, work permit eligibility. To qualify for the work permit, you must have two or three eligible job offers. That's what uh, we talk about uh, the communities, guys. The two or three uh, part-time job. Have a signed letter support from the government of Yukon. Meet the general requirements for a working permit. The job offer requirements. The job you offer must be all these requirements. They must all in the same participating Yukon communities. The, they must add up at least 30 hours work or a equal or equal full-time job. They must be non-seasonal. In general, this means you have consistent and regular scheduled paid employment throughout the year. The wage must have or meet the exceed the minimum wage. Your experience must show that you are can perform the duties of the job offered. So this is the... Uh, five requirements guys this is a normal requirements for every uh, employee who is applying for uh, work in canada a okay, and the english test so document you need before you apply a copy of nomination letter for the government guys this is the first thing you need to secure if you wanted to apply on this program first you need to look for employer in yukon so i'm gonna put it down below on the on the comment or in the description box the website that you can search for employer in Yukon community so you have a signed letter of support from the government of Yukon stating that the employers who are offering you the job need you to work in the community as soon as possible so if you're outside Canada you can search or you can look online for the employer and the employer gonna contact you through email and they're gonna send you or assign you for schedule you for interview. Yeah, they need it's like the details of the job offer, including names of the employers. This is the contract, guys, from the employer. So, how to apply for the work permit? If you already got the nomination from the employer, guys, you can apply now for a work permit. But reminder, guys, you can apply a work permit in the border or in the immigration outside Canada. You can apply uh, online guys. If you're in Canada as a visitor only, you don't have to study a work permit. You need to select the outside Canada option. How to apply for work permit? 
So once you already obtain or you already have the nomination from the employer guys, you can apply now online. You can't apply paperwork because of the coronavirus. Everything now is applying through online. So in this page guys, you can select if you're applying uh, inside Canada. So if you're in Canada as a visitor only, you don't have study or work permit, you need to select the outside Canada option. If you are here in Canada as a visitor, kailangan uh, you put outside pa rin. If you're outside Canada, Philippines, or India, or uh, anywhere in the world, you can uh, search, I'm applying from outside Canada. Just press that one and select continue. Yeah, this is the requirement applying from outside Canada. Make sure you have what you need. To apply online, you need a scanner camera. This is the step-by-step a procedure a valid credit card or debit card to pay for your work permit create your online account or sign in if you don't have an online account or sign uh, in website canada you can create now just uh, select create an account or sign in yeah and guys when you select or create your account you can manage all the documents that you need to apply or you need to pass in the government of canada yeah just prepare your answers, answer to get your online checklist. Just prepare, guys, all the documents you need to apply if you already got the nomination from the employer. So, i brief ko lang, guys, i summary ko lang, guys, yung uh, Yukon Community Program. This is the easiest way, guys. No LMIA, kasi yung LMIA, ito yung pinaka top one na hinihingi ng Government Canada para makakuha mga employer na mga worker outside Canada. And it's very expensive guys if you pay for the LMIA you need to uh, the go uh, the employer need to play 1,000 Canadian and aside from that guys you're applying as uh, foreign worker kasi yung uh, this program guys uh, they let you uh, open working permit pagdating mo dito sa Canada guys open working permit ka na for two years so open working permit malapit ka na for per no requirements for the educational or even the age requirements. Wala siya doon. And they allow you pa mag-work 2 to 3 employer in the same communities. And may, ang good thing pa nito guys, if you have uh, a spouse or a kids, you can bring them to you and then they can apply. They are also open working permit guys. They can apply or they can study. As long as you are both the same uh, uh, status here in Canada. And the simple reminder guys, yung Yukon is close to Alaska. Ito lang, i-set mo lang yung mind mo guys, is medyo malamig dito. So it's it's approximately 3 to 8 months laging winter or winter dito sa Yukon. And then yung communities na may program is malayo sa city. Pero, if I were you guys, tiyaga lang. Kasi mabilis lang naman yung taon. Mabilis yung takbo ng panahon ngayon. Mabilis mo na makukuha or ma mapupunuan yung 3 years na stay mo sa Yukon. And then, after that, if you're not happy guys, you can transfer to another uh, territory or you can go to another uh, province ng Canada. Yeah, since you are a permanent residence only guys, you can travel na or you can transfer anywhere you want in Canada. So, bali guys, yung step nito is apat. Uh, first is job search. Kaila, ito yung pinakauna. Kailangan mo guys makakuha inside Canada ka man or outside Canada ka. Kailangan mo makapag-provide uh, or makakuha ng employer in Yukon. Dun sa six communities. So, next is after that, kung na-interview ka na and get the nomination from the employer and then apply na ng working permit online and then come to Canada guys it's a four step only guys kaya kailangan yung mag search muna ng employer and napakadali nito guys and uh, mak makakasama po yung family mo so it's a really a good news guys so sana po guys uh, makatulong etong new program or new vlog ko para makapunta kayo ng Canada and para sa future nyo din po ng family nyo um, if you are have any question guys just comment down below and I'm gonna try my best to help you out on your application and to give you some tips. And if you're new to my channel guys, don't forget to click subscribe and click also the notification bell so that you don't miss anything guys every time I upload it a new video. So thank you for watching guys. Hope to see you on my next vlog. Bye!